There were 56 defensive backs taken in the 2024 NFL Draft. Not one of them made the Week 7 Our Lads All-Rookie Team. Welcome back, guys. I am David Syrton from Our Lads Scouting Services. I have for you the Week 7 Our Lads All-Rookie Team. And as usual, we will start off on the offensive side of the ball. At quarterback, we have now the fourth quarterback to make the week, uh, weekly Our Lads All-Rookie Team. That is Drake May from the New England Patriots, who looked much better in his second career start. At running back, we have Bucky Irving, who is quickly becoming the top rookie running back in the NFL. At wide receiver, we have Brian Thomas from the Jacksonville Jaguars. He is the only receiver in the NFL with three receptions of 58 or more yards this season. He scored yet another touchdown in addition to the Jaguar for the Jaguars in their win over the Patriots in Europe at tight end. We have Brock Bowers. I'm pretty sure we could just tattoo this name onto this template who led the uh, Raiders with 10 catches at offensive tackle. We have a Marius Mims who played a very good game run and plat pass against the Cleveland front in the Bengals win. And at offensive guard at offensive center, we have someone interior offensive lineman here. We have someone that was not the first, not the second offensive lineman taken by the Steelers in this past draft. It was the third, and that is Mason McCormick, who is making his inaugural appearance on the weekly Our Lads All Rookie Team. Let's spend some time talking about the offensive rookie of the week, and that is Amarius Mims from the Cincinnati Bengals. We usually put a receiver, a tight end, a running back, a quarterback into this spot, but I'm going to go and do what I did week one and put the big ugly and give him in this spot and give them some attention. One of the riskiest players in the 2024 NFL draft based solely on the fact that he barely played in college. Mims was on the field for just 803 snaps at Georgia. That equates to less than less than a full season's worth. He started just eight games for the Bulldogs, partially because he was playing behind multiple future pros and dealt with a couple of minor nagging injuries last season. With that said, the draft is more about projecting the future than looking at the past. And Cincinnati especially is a team that plays the long game with their draft picks. They like to develop these guys for a year or two before really throwing them into the fire. Mims was not supposed to start for the Bengals early on. They had Orlando Brown protecting the blind side and they signed Trent Brown to play right tackle for a year. But an injury to Trent Brown expedited Mims to the starter role and they were a few roller coaster weeks as expected early on. But that brings me to this physical week seven matchup against the division rival Browns led by Miles Garrett. Mims allowed just one hurry on 29 pass box snaps, showing a much more developed self-awareness of the range his size gives him. The footwork was clean and he did not abandon his techniques, which was not always the case over the past few weeks. For the first time this season, Joe Burrow's average depth of target was over 10 yards, and he did not have to scramble once. The confidence and trajectory of this offense changes if Mims can keep this up. That does it for the offensive side of the ball. Let's transition over to the defensive side of the ball for the Week 7 Our Lads All-Rookie Team. On the defensive side of the ball, we have Jared Verse at edge defender who had seven pressures for the Rams and their win over the Raiders. At defensive tackle, we have Devondre Sweat who continues to be a force against both the pass and run uh, for the Tennessee Titans. At linebacker, we have Jalen Carley from the Indianapolis Colts. Again, a former safety that is transitioning to a more full-time linebacker role is excelling here early in the year. At cornerback and safety, this is what I talked about at the beginning of the video, both undrafted free agents Cornerback Beanie Bishop Jr. from the Pittsburgh Steelers and safety Jalen McCullough from the Los Angeles Rams. Both guys that had multiple turnovers uh, for the respective teams in victories. Let's spend some time talking about the defensive player of the week uh, for the rookies. And that is Beanie Bishop Jr. from the Pittsburgh Steelers. The most used undrafted free agent in the NFL this season is Bishop. He added 47 snaps to his season total of 294 in the week seven win over the Jets on a national stage. The Met, by the way, the next most snaps by an undrafted rookie defender is 137 by Elijah Chapman of the New York Giants, less than half of what Bishop has put out so far. Bishop has been grabbing the attention of Steelers brass since training camp, and he is not letting go. After a six-year Three program college career, the undersized Bishop was overlooked despite immense production. He was an All American last year after leading the nation in passes defended 
last year in 2023. That production followed him to the NFL week seven in particular. Bishop picked off Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers not once, but twice in the Steelers' statement win over the Jets on Sunday night. One of those interceptions ended with a 41-yard return that came up just one yard shy of being a pick six. Bishop was also a very special teams returner in college as well. Do not forget that. Both of those interceptions eventually led to the Steelers scoring touchdowns in their come-from-behind victory. That does it. For the Week 7 Our Lads All-Rookie Team, if you want write-ups and reasoning behind all of these players that we picked for this week's roster, head over to the website at ourlads.com. Look for that Week 7 Our Lads All-Rookie Team. Uh, leave us a comment. We'll get back to you. We'll see you next week. Thank you, guys.